Section three, cash flow your college education. What does it mean to cash flow your college education? To cash flow simply means to pay with cash as you go, instead of using credit or debt. First, you'll need to plan ahead. You need a plan, start now. Get help from your parents and school counselor along the way. Planning for college involves more than just ACT scores and college applications. You must understand how much it's going to cost, and not just tuition, but also books and living expenses, and know how you're gonna pay for it. Get good grades. One thing you can do right now is get good grades. Good grades can do more than just get you into the school and career you want. They also help you get free money. Yep, scholarships. Go to those who earn them with good grades. Make good grades and scoring well on the ACT and SAT will set you apart from the crowd. How would you like to get paid to be a high school student? Well, the fact is your hard work now can turn into money later. Think about it. Shop around. It's a good idea to narrow your choices down to six schools or less. During this process, consider each school's degree programs, living expenses, and tuition. Keep in mind that more expensive doesn't always mean better quality. Your future happiness, success, and income will have very little to do with the prestige or name recognition of the college you attend. Attending a community college for your first two years is a great way to know that you've gotten your freshman and sophomore years over with at a low cost. If you plan to continue your education after your two-year degree, Work closely with your advisor to make sure the classes you take are going to transfer to your four-year university of choice. Consider attending a state school instead of a private or out-of-state school, which will have much higher tuition. You must shop for the best price for your education in the same way you comparison shop on any large purchase. Don't be sold on prestige alone. Let's journal about this topic. Has money affected your decision on whether or not to attend college? Why or why not? Write a few sentences on this topic. Applying for financial aid. In order to make the most of cash flowing college, you've got to focus on the specifics like filling out your financial paperwork, researching scholarships, and finding part-time work opportunities fill out the FAFSA form. The FAFSA, Free Application for Federal Student Aid, is the first step to receiving any kind of financial aid. Whether you're interested in scholarships, grants, loans, or other financial aids, you'll need to submit this form. The FAFSA form needs to complete, be completed each year you are in college. The sooner you turn in the form, usually by January or February, the most likely you are to get financial help because some federal funding is awarded on a first come, first served basis. Remember, student loans are bad news. Make sure you ask that the student loans be removed from your funding. You'll need your family's tax information as you complete the FAFSA. Keep in mind, if you turn it in online, the process moves much faster. Continuing to fill out the FAFSA form. Grants are golden. Federal and state governments offer grants that are usually need-based. The FAFSA will determine which grants you qualify for. Examples include the federal Pell Grant and state-specific grants. And the best part about it is grant money is free. Research scholarships. Another form of free money is scholarships. You should never pay to apply for scholarships and do not give your social security number when you apply. I need some help paying for college, but where do I find scholarships? While merit-based scholarships are the most popular, there are countless other types available. If you have a unique talent or skill set, there's a good chance of finding an award that's just right for you. With a little research, you'll be amazed at both the variety and availability of these scholarships. Here are some types of scholarships. University scholarships for academics, athletics, clubs, etc community scholarships like the Boys and Girls Club or Rotary Club. Local business scholarships exist to promote their organization. Private donors might include relatives or other individuals. 
Student-specific scholarships exist for almost every characteristic you can think of. Unique scholarships for a variety of hobbies, talents, and interests. Talk to your guidance counselor and search online to see what award opportunities are out there for you. Don't be put off by a small award. Every dollar adds up, and there is no limit to the number of scholarships for which you can apply. When to visit the financial aid office. If you get stuck at any point in the process, just stop by your college's financial aid office. If your financial situation has changed, maybe a parent has been laid off or medical situation has come up, it's important to visit the financial aid office. Your financial aid can be reevaluated and possibly increased. Talk to a financial aid officer as soon as an emergency arises. They will offer you advice, encouragement, or help. Research work opportunities. Get a part-time job. Research shows that students who work up to 20 hours a week have the highest grade point averages of any type of student in college because they can often develop good time management skills. Research also shows that working more than 20 hours a week may affect your grades negatively. So should you get a job on campus or off? You can find jobs off campus that offer flexible schedules for students in a variety of roles. These jobs usually pay more than work study. On-campus jobs may pay you directly or pay toward your tuition bill. Usually the school provides hourly positions that pay minimum wage. The good news is you can often study as you work. Check with the financial aid office to see what jobs are offered. Make sure you have an emergency fund. The first foundation is to establish an emergency fund of $500. Since you're taking this course in high school, you should already have your emergency fund in place by the time you graduate. Remember, in spite of what society teaches us, credit cards are not emergency funds. As you work in the summer and save money for your school bill, set aside a separate amount in an emergency fund. If something bad happens during school, you'll have some funds to fix the problem so you don't have to drop out of school. Average student loan balance from 2005 to 2012. Student loan debt is the only form of consumer debt that has grown since the peak of consumer debt in 2008. Balances of student loans have exceeded both auto loans and credit cards, making student loan debt the largest form of consumer debt outside of mortgages. Let's take a look at this graph to see what kind of loan debt we're talking about. In 2005, the average student loan balance was $16,000. Just three years later, in 2008, the average student loan balance was 20000 And then four years after that, in 2012, the average student loan debt was $25,000. Let's journal about some of this. What money-saving options will you consider in order to cash flow your college education? Section 4, Education Options for the 21st Century. Be a lifelong learner. Many students and their parents believe that a four-year college degree is necessary to compete in the job market. College is not for everyone, and it is possible to build a career without investing in an expensive college education. 21st century education comes in many forms. Remember, however, that even if a traditional four-year college isn't for you, it's still important to invest in yourself. Learning is a necessary lifelong venture regardless of your career choice or specific educational needs. If you do your research, you can be sure you're deciding on a career path that reflects your passions as well as your financial goals. It's important to assess what your interests are, how you like to learn, and what motivates you. For example, do you like to build things? sit behind a computer, or interact with people. Once you've decided on a career, here are some college alternatives to consider. Trade school. Trade schools allow students to learn basic professional skills in two years or less because technical schools typically cut out many of the general courses required by traditional high school universities. Also, since trade schools are often directly tied into the employment needs of their region or state, Prospective employers often seek new hires from trade school graduates. Certifications. Students who are looking to learn specific skills can look into free or low-cost certifications found online, at community colleges, or through government-funded programs. 
self-education. Start reading books, blogs, and trade magazines in your field of choice. Attend conferences and local events. Meet people and find a mentor. You may also want to attend online courses specific to your field. On-the-job training. On-the-job training is just that. You, the employee, train at the place of work while you are doing the actual job. Usually, a professional trainer serves as the course instructor and uses a combination of hands-on activities and formal classroom training. Associate's degree. An associate's degree is a two-year degree that can offer a variety of benefits, including lower cost than four-year colleges, specialized training, and a flexible schedule that allows you to work while you earn your degree. Whether it's your first step toward earning a bachelor's degree or the beginning of your career, an associate's degree may be a great option. Career fields such as fashion design, nursing, cardiovascular technology, and criminal justice are offered at the associate's level. Military. The military isn't for everyone, but it has helped a lot of people get college debt-free while giving them the honor of serving their country. Remember, post-secondary education is not a one-size-fits-all plan. With so many options, you have the opportunity to create your own educational experience that allows you to follow your passions and meet your goals. Our last journal. Think about what careers you might be interested in pursuing. What type of education or training will you need to enter that field?